You go left, different. Yes, no, Seth, Seth, Seth. 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 proposal that we put into America before I left America and this was in this was in 2000 here the Chicago City Council and this was a, and this became a part of the referendum that was sent to Washington DC and, 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 uh, and, uh, and Barack Obama was there and he promised 
that once that this is when he professor Barack Obama, that he promised that 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 that, that, that if we can prove our case for reparations, that he would that that, 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 that he would endorse. It. So now this is when he was Professor Barack Obama. But when I was so when he became President Barack Obama, and he spent eight years in office, he betrayed us. He betrayed us. And he came here to Israel, and he put, and he didn't even visit the, the, the second American community that left the United States. Now the first American community of black Americans that left the United States was a hundred years ago, and we, and, we, and we went to Liberia. Liberia was set up for black Americans that left America a hundred years ago that wanted to leave. So now since then, America and everybody forgot about them. Now the second group of Americans that left America was back in the 1960, 1967, and this is the 15th year anniversary. And now, ain't nobody been thinking about us here either. We're in a ride, and it's the first place we came here. And we had our first black American president, and he came to Israel, Barack Obama. And he didn't think nothing to even come in to say hello to the first black American community. Now you'll see I had a sign up here, because we had actually went out and got the brothers out to vote for him. We went and got votes out for him, Johnny. We got brothers to go to the embassy and actually put votes out for him. We had news people that came from Europe that ended up, they saw that we got our vote for Obama and they came from Europe to do, to do a news presentation on us. But did Obama respect that? No. Did he come to a ride here to say hi? to the first group of blacks that left America? No. He spent eight years and then showed us no respect. So now, when it came time for to be re-elected with Hillary, you know why you lost Hillary? Because Obama didn't show us no respect. We put him in office and he didn't show us no respect. So we endorsed Donald Trump. We endorse Donald Trump. So now, President Trump is here, and now we're telling him to show us some respect. Show the people that helped get you in office, that voted to get you in office, the, the first group of American blacks that left the country, that voted to put you in office. Now you came to Israel, and you're not gonna, how we doing that brothers, how we gonna do brothers, except to get you out brothers there. First group of brothers that came around here, and that they ended up not even putting us upon the program. So now, Trump, we heard you in town. We was hoping you was gonna come down the New World Passover tomorrow, because that's a, that's a, a memorial, the 50th year anniversary. I was hoping you were going to fly in there in your helicopter and just say hi and get out of here. The first group of Americans. But did you do that? No. We just heard that, 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 that he finished, got his split down, didn't he? So now we're trying to make a mad dash to Jerusalem to try to catch you before you leave. How we doing there, my brother? To try to catch you before you leave. So now, in order for you can understand that this was our reparations proposal and this was three categories that we had here. We had the integrationists, we had the nationalists, and we had what you call the radicals. Now the radicals are those brothers right now that's talking about the race war, they don't want to leave America. The integrationists is Martin Luther King and Obama and them and all those brothers that want to be a, a, a stay, stay in America and want to take control of the guys you want to put out. But we're the nationalists, and all we want is our money to leave. All we want is our alimony check, A. Johnny, to get the heck out of America. 
you follow me? And, and, and we heard you say that you would give us a one-way ticket out of town. So that's why we asked for you. That's why we voted for you. So now we want you to keep your word. We want you to keep your word. You give us a one-way ticket out of town without reparations. We ain't just leaving. We want the alimony check. We ain't gonna spend 400 years and you gonna put us out after you got all the best, after you got the best years of our life. <laughs> and then you want us to leave. Don't go that way. You give us the alimony check and then we'll leave. You see, so right now we're trying to catch you and see right here, because the American government, this is the proposal that we put, and these are all the people, how are we doing that system? These are all the people that got reparations all of the people that got reparations but us. You see, all of the Native Americans that got reparations, and you can see all of these are Native Americans with the except of the Chinese or the Japanese right here at the bottom. All those are Native Americans. So now you got us Native Americans, the black Americans, that was originally in America, and now we came back to our original homeland in Zion, but we want our reparations. We want our reparations to perpetuate back home design. Walla Walla, and we on the, we on you, Trump. We after you, brother. We try to catch you. So don't leave until you hook up with us. Walla Walla. that we had to the city council here. They trying to hold up enough. And this is the one that we took to the United Nations. Now the United Nations at this point then asked America to give us reparations to Mr. Trump. You follow? So now the United Nations then ordered America to give Not us reparations. Problem. So now all you need to do is to agree with the United Nations and give us our reparations and then we out of America. You got all the black Indians out of America back in Israel where we came from, which is the original homeland. So this is the reparations proposal here that we put in for the, 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 that Americans were sitting through the postman. You see the brother, you see the brother next there? Now these are the crimes that America did against us right here. This is a postcard. You see that says postcard? And this it reads here, this is the barbecue that we had last night. You see, that's the barbecue that we had last night. And that's a postcard. And this was sent through the America. Mm. This is why the UN they convicted America. This is, the, this is why the United Nations convicted America and said that they owe us reparations. So now all America got to do is agree with the UN to give us our reparations that we, that we believe. So now we got our bus here, we finna jump on it now. Hey, let's get ready to get out of here. We're gonna jump on our bus. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. House of David is watching. Okay, beautiful. And the House of David, the brother from the House of David is the brother that helped send us the money here that we can get, that we can get we asked the brother Yaakov and we asked the brother Errol to send us some money for we catch you, but we didn't get a response from those brothers. The brothers from the house of David, those brothers sent us the money to be able to catch up with you. You follow? So right now we're going to try to catch up with you. We're going to Jerusalem. Okay, John, let's just make a move here. Uh, 
we alive in this world. And what's happening here, we had to step outside of the track of the bus station here to talk to the finish out statement to Mr. Trump. Now, Mr. Trump, we tried to catch you in Jerusalem, but we couldn't catch you. Because you got a helicopter and, 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 and we got public transportation. You see, so what we need, we need our reparations because we the left. You see, and we got a whole group of people that have been out of the country for 50 years. So now what we need you to do, if you want to make America white again, bright again, white again, <laughs> great again, however, however you want to do, you can do it by giving us our reparations to leave. And what we will do, we will bring peace to the Middle East. What we will do, we will be a bridge between our Jewish brothers and our Muslim brothers. I'm calling on Louis Farrakhan to come up here to join us in order that we can be a bridge between the Palestinians and our Jewish brothers because we are, we, we, can, we believe in the Torah, the Injil, and the Quran. We believe in all of the messengers of God, all of the messengers of Allah, and we was originally in this land until we migrated to America. And now we're now we back in the land of Israel, and we have found the actual Mount Zion, which is Tel Aviv. So we're telling you, Mr. Trump, that we were in America, the, Amer the group of Americans here voted for you to get in office because you said, we're just a step. How are we doing that, brother? Bring him out. Let's bust. Because you said that you want to give us a one-way ticket out of time. Okay. We'll take that one-way ticket. We'll take that one-way ticket right here to Israel. And we can put us right on the border between the Palestinians and our Jewish brothers. And we will bring peace to the Middle East. Because we will make, we will be that brother of peace between, give us the land and give us our reparations between those, between those two people. Like I asked Bush when he was in office. Like I asked Obama for my radio station and for my television station in America. I asked him on my tele reparations now television station. I went to DC. I went to, I, I was there in Durban, South Africa for the race conference. So now, Mr. Trump, if you want to do what no other president have ever done and bring peace to the Middle East, you give your homeboys the alimony check and we get a divorce from America, you to kick all the black Indians out of America. Nobody even know it's black Indians in America because it's the genocide of our people. Every other Indian in America got some type of reparations. Every other, every other nationalist, born nationalist, got some type of reparations. Every other indigenous one of our brothers that was in America got some reparations, but the blacks. You see, so all the brothers that are Africans, black Africans, let them go back. All the brothers that came in with, let us go back. And then you can make America great again. Because after you give us our reparations, you'll have all those jobs. And we'll have our money where we can build our village and our home and everybody can be happy. See, why and you brothers that sit around here and sit and fight to stay in America, you can sit there and fight. But all the brothers that want to leave with their money and their reparations step up now with us. And Mr. Trump, if you endorse this plan, all those brothers that want to leave, you have all those jobs in America for everybody else. And you see all my Jewish brothers here that want to go to America and want to get jobs? Open up the door, let them take our jobs. All the abs that they want to go, let them come and take our jobs. But let us go since you don't like us. You know, you, you killed up all the black Indians. I'm only, I'm, I'm the only one, that might be only five or six or hundred chiefs that are left that know the ancient Hebrew that they call it here in Hebrew, and they call it ancient Cherokee in America. But we, it's called ancient Hebrew here in Israel. So Mr. Trump, we couldn't catch up with you, so it seems like you're gonna have to catch up with us. And let us go with our reparations. So we're on our way back to arrive, we're gonna, we're gonna put our flag up. And everywhere you see this flag, you will notice the group of brothers that's representing us. Those brothers that's been sitting outside the White House, those are our brothers. Those brothers that been sitting out in New York City and everywhere else you go, you will know exactly from the flag the brothers that want their money to leave and don't want to don't want to fight with America. All we want is our reparations money. We want our alimony check. If you hate us, when you have a couple that's married and they can't get along, 
then all we want is for you to give us our reparations check and we, look, we ain't going nowhere without our alimony check. Ain't that right, Johnny? You ain't going to have us work for 400 years and they're going to put us out without nothing. If you want to divorce, we want that alimony check. Ain't that right, Johnny? And we were what? Live, Live in, in Israel. Israel. Walla Walla. Walla Walla.